six and amazingly we have a beautiful sunny autumn morning um, today is actually very little to do with the RS6 it is my vessel of choice to whisk me down to Lamborghini Pangborn where I'm going to be meeting none other than Mr. Paul Wallace aka Supercars of London himself um, and we're going to dabble in some Lamborghini action. Uh, I have driven a few Aventadors. If you watch this channel regularly, you'll know that earlier on in the year, myself and Paul even drove the Aventador Super Veloce. But I haven't got my hands on an Aventador S yet. Each and every time that I approach an Aventador, the concept of owning one is so compelling because they look fantastic, they sound amazing, they've got the exotic V12, um, and it's just one of the most exotic supercars that is currently available on the market right now. But every time I've driven a standard Aventador, or should I say the first generation Aventador, and even the SV, I've never really been able to gel with the gearbox. It's always been a little bit clunky. However, I've been told by people who own the current generation Aventador S that Lamborghini have gone to a degree and augmented that gearbox somewhat and that it's actually not that bad. So those people that I've spoken to I respect and trust. In fact, one of them believed it so much that he went and bought one. <laughs> so yes, we're going to head down now to Lamborghini Pangborn um, and uh, check out the Aventador S that they currently have in stock. Obviously take it for a test drive and see what this thing's all about. Let's hit it. All right. 97 because the car deserves it. It's been a while since I've filled this car up from almost empty. So let's just see what it takes to fill up the RS6 on your average British motorway. I say motorway because they're notoriously got you by the short and curlies, so they put up the price. So this might be a tad steep, but let's see how it goes. Oof. Practically bang on 100 pounds. <laughs> for 67 litres of fuel. Oh, that's not because this car's expensive, that's because this petrol station's expensive. <laughs> Welcome to Lamborghini Pangborn. It's the first time I've been here. Seen it on online plenty of times. Let's go see whether. Well, yes, here he is. Come in. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? <laughs> awesome, mate. Really Welcome good. To Lamborghini Pangborn. This I know. Is my home. I was just saying. I'm not trying to get that camera straight. Just yeah. saying. Seen this uh, place online loads of times. Yeah. Feel like I know it well. <laughs> first time here, though. It's cool. Is it, is it bigger cool. than you expected? Is it smaller than you expected? It's, it's, it's very. So many cars. Funnily enough, on the drive down here. I saw three Lambos. Did you? Two Aventadors and a matte black Hurricane Spider. I saw nothing. So, okay. <laughs> oh my, cool. So here we are. So uh, actually, I've got a lot to thank Paul for because uh, we had different plans. We did. And then Paul phoned me up and was like, forget that, that sounds boring. Why don't we just go drive some Lambos? <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> I didn't say it was boring. Our plans were definitely going to be exciting. It's not as exciting yeah. as Not as this. exciting as this. <laughs> yeah, so uh, plan of the day, we're going to both go out in the Hurricane Performante yeah. at some stage. And uh, I'm going to get First time you've driven it on a UK road? Yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. Right hand yeah, yeah. drive? Right hand drive. Yeah, yeah. And um, as, as terrible as our UK roads are, it's yeah. not going to be as bad as the, <laughs> the Italian roads that they yeah. launched it on. Well, might as well have been on a rally track. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so, the roads around here are amazing. Okay, awesome. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to be taking oh, out this one the Aventador S shortly. What is this? Oh, nice. What is what? It's a wrap. shade is that? It's a wrap. That is a wrap. It's kind of like a satin purple almost. Cool. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look around the showroom and then uh, we'll uh, meet up with Craig. Craig, Craig who's yeah. gonna give me the keys to the Aventador S. Just keep the power here, it's good. The 
pickup is amazing. Oh, huh? really good. It's got so much torque. Long left, speed's good. Just bring it, the power back into the end of the corner. This is beautiful. <laughs> Get it, shit. Just slams it home. Cool, so, hello. This is Craig from Lamborghini Pangborn. Um, and today, we have the pleasure of being in the new Lamborghini Aventador S. We picked uh, one of the few sunny days that we've had in the last few few weeks. Um, yeah, and so, you know, really, I wanted to bring you guys my insight into what this thing feels like. If you follow the channel regularly, you'll know that my last Aventador experience was in the south of France with the Aventador SV. Now, I'd like to be able to, to you know, think that it's gonna be an interesting comparison between those two cars, but I have to say that the guy that lent me the, the keys to that car had changed the ride height of the car, he changed the camber of the wheels, um, and so I'm not entirely sure you know, if it was an accurate representation of how the SV actually is. He was adamant that the turn-in was better and it rode better, but I've been in this car all of 10 minutes, uh, and I can categorically tell you that this is better. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot smoother. Now, what I'm really interested in and happy to see is that we have the ability to independently control uh, the dampers, the gear shift, with the addition of the Ego setting. Yeah, and powertrain as well. Which basically allows for you to have the more hardcore settings from gear shift, exhaust sound. Does it have any um, impact on traction? traction uh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Well? Between sport and course, so sport is more rear drive biased. Wow. Course okay, is more cool. four wheel drive biased. So, Ego for me is what I would call British B-Road mode where you want to have all of that theatre and drama, but you yeah. want the compliance of what would otherwise be Strada. Yeah, exactly. Uh, great addition. I found the SV and even standard event doors I've been in, have, you know, at times they've been a bit compromised because most of the roads that I drive on are sort of you know, British B roads, which can be nice and flowing, but, but I found upset the balance of the car because it was often too stiff. This mode's really nice. Compliant yeah. and soft. The biggest addition by far though, which is making this car feel a lot smaller and agile and more agile than it is, is the addition of the rear wheel steer. Yeah. I didn't imagine that it would have as much of an impact as it actually has done on this car. It feels a much more dynamic drive and for some reason it's making the car feel smaller. Now I know that's ridiculous because same footprint, uh, but the way this thing turns, for want of a better word, the whole thing feels more together. Do we have sounds to yeah. be heard? Let's go for in seconds. We have seconds. Second. Throttle. No. <laughs> that's, that's the noise we want to hear. I think of all brands, it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter what exhaust you put on, whichever car, there's no one does theatre like Lamborghini. <laughs> Um, 
you know, your own turn maneuvers are far easier when you're parking the car. Yes. Uh, but also at speed, you just feel a lot more confident. But there was a slight delay in the previous car because of its wheelbase was a lot longer. Yes. And this car is a lot more sure-footed. It's amazing, isn't it? Because it does feel, yeah, yeah, feels more compliant. Yeah. The gearbox itself is yeah. that the same as in the SB? It is. It is the same gearbox. Uh, I believe from 2011 till today, uh -huh. there's been 19 revisions of the gearbox, be it software sure. and sure. in component okay. change. Uh, so it has been revised. Um, I feel the gearbox matches this car perfectly because it has to have a motion with yeah. a change with that lovely V12. Sure. Uh, so your upshift, your downshift, it yes. just feels fabulous. It works. So even though it's the same gearbox in terms of physical structure of yep. the box. Mm -hmm. Whether or not I'm imagining this or not, or if it's wishful thinking, but the gearbox in this feels smoother than it does in the SV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think maybe the SV is, is, is more of an aggressive change because of the type of car it is. For sure, uh, you know, maybe engineered further into it. Where this definitely feels more usable because this is a road, you know, yeah, a road car. It's a supercar yeah, yeah. for the road. So uh, I feel they've made it a lot more uh, impressionable on people. That was awesome. Thank you so much. No problems. It's uh, it's really great to experience it because I I only like to talk about cars that I've actually driven and experienced firsthand rather yeah. than just guessing. Uh, but it's kind of as expected. The gearbox is definitely an improvement. It's much smoother. It's crisp, um, and the, the engine has well that that for me is like everything. It's just I know we're in this world where everything is going like, turbocharged, but to have a naturally aspirated V12 around still that sounds like that is ridiculous. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, thank you. Lovely Appreciate to meet you. It. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go and see what this man thinks. How was it? Mate. I think that there's just one word for it, and that's drama, isn't it? It's yeah. just it's just a, a laugh a mile. But it's more precise drama than before. So much more. The biggest difference by far rear wheel steer yes yeah. given the whole thing just feels so much more agile Did you ever need to turn the car around like we a car park just, just to see it full yeah back on ourselves yeah. and we no problem at all yeah. like you know it's normally event you're you're like reversing and shuffling turn. no problem at all the gearbox you know if, I, if you watch this channel regularly a bit of a snob when it comes to gearboxes still not ideal yeah and we did go for a spin in the the Hurricane yeah, which is Performante earlier. As close as you can get to perfection. I mean, it's un <laughs> unbelievable. So it probably wasn't the best car to go in and compare. <laughs> Having yeah. said that, I do appreciate why customers of these cars are like, you know, I I prefer it because it's different and it adds, it's, the, the whole thing is just occasion. Exactly. That's and the improvements is. to the S over the standard one, like yeah. even aesthetically from the outside, like this oh, car's got so much carbon. It's so crazy. And um, just I just I just love it. Like, and I'd buy one in a heartbeat if I won the lottery because it's crazy. they're expensive. They are very expensive. So you're basically you're not going to come out of with any change. It's just over three hundred grand, really. Yeah. They're starting at two seventy. Yeah. Um, and then the options. Put bits on. The options are endless. Yeah. Um, exhaust. <laughs> now this is going to be this is going to sound crazy. So I was filming some drive-bys earlier. From the outside, you wouldn't need an upgrade. Yeah. Uh, but from the inside. But I it's find that now, muted. with so many new cars, many cars, that the sound dampening inside really yeah. 
It kind of takes away a little bit of the does a fun. Bit. Yeah, it does a bit. Uh, the where... lift off over on is a joke. <laughs> it's like Lamborghini were like, how much I like how much of a joke can we have with this car? Yeah. Literally, every time you lift off, it's like a firework yeah. just floating behind your head. It's crazy. It's um, so that. yeah, I think the overall <laughs> takeaway from this is I'm still yet to find a brand that does fun like these guys. Yeah, sure. I, yeah, just, I just don't think you can. And probably. also like that still does in a weird way an affordable mid-engine V12. Well, I was saying, if you want a rear-engined, rear mid-engine V12... Why or a Ferrari? Basically, you're over the million quid. Yeah. Or way over. Yeah. 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 So, um, anyway... That's why I was saying it was affordable. It's definitely not affordable. <laughs> <laughs> it's not affordable at all. <laughs> cool, so we're now going to hop into the manga comic that is the Civic Type R over here. Um, so, after you watch this, hop over to Paul's channel. And we'll we're going to be talking <laughs> hot hatch tour. Yes, hot hatch tour. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.